Okay, I thought I'd check in real quick again here. <laughs> so here's the amazing thing when you're a dumbass. I, if you go back and watch the prior video, you'll see that I said, oh, as the German player, I'm going to forego the opportunity to have that back-to-back -back turn because I, I want to, you know, close out and, and, and kill some of these isolated units off and let attrition knock them out and all that sort of fun stuff. And I also mentioned how this is a little bit tenuous here, a little overextended. Well, now look at it, right? These guys are all surrounded. They're going to have to fight for their lives this turn. Supply has been blocked here. And I am a, just a dingleberry for not taking that turn and reinforcing my supply line and reinforcing my lead vanguard forces, right? Uh, much stronger line being built here not terribly much better mainly just guys flipping over from move mode to combat mode but one thing that I did think of as the Soviet player was starting to build up some uh, two and three high stacks of artillery and while you may say hey they're all out there they're a little lonesome out there well they're there for a reason because with their range they can reach all around here one, two, three, yep, all around here. And I've got some other artillery here so that I can, this turn, and maybe even next turn, begin attempting to DG or, you know, if I've got the supply, which I do, I have 10 or 15 SP here, I can start trying to knock, actually knock steps off some of these units or, or kill units outright with massive artillery barrages, which feels very historical to me. And I think it'll be a lot of fun to blow the snot out of some of these German units, uh, particularly this uh, SS Reich here or whoever they are. And so, uh, you know, these guys probably not strong enough to take a step out, but they can certainly put the hurt on the enemy. And by doing that, by, by weakening or DGing these forces, it makes it all the harder for them to get out. Uh, so uh, it now forces them to waste the Germans to waste a turn reorganizing, reestablishing reestablishing their supply lines instead of making the push on Smolensk. The final thing that I, I thought of as the defender was moving some HQs into critical hex locations because I have so many floating around that I uh, will use them as a bump on the flak die roll. So you get a plus one to the die roll, which is a beneficial uh, DRM for the Soviets. So if the Germans try and come and uh, do a barrage, an air barrage or a hip shoot on any of these hexes here, then they will, uh, the Germans are going to have to add one to their die roll uh, over and above whatever they may have to roll for other, for other uh, circumstances based on the, the table. So I thought that was a, a nice idea to, to do that as well. So we're, uh, we're hanging in there as the Soviet player. And uh, there's a, a lot of gnashing of teeth over on the German side. And look at look at these guys. You know they're not they really don't have anywhere to go. But they're they're trying to meander their way back to the lines. And down here, uh, I've actually got these guys these guys back into into supply and removed the low ammo marker on this guy and this guy, uh, so that uh, they were they were well covered, uh, well recovered. So uh, these folks folks will be the last stand at Mogilev. Uh, they're in trace supply and these units will keep a supply line open for them as long as they can and we'll kind of go for it from there. So just another quick little update for you. I hope you're enjoying it and we'll talk to you soon and thanks for watching the big board etc. Bye.